Hello, my name is Caden Dykes, and I'm here to tell you about a story about a place that holds a very special place in my heart and always will. This takes place at my grandparents' lake house in Mandeville. It's a lake house there with a 40-acre lake. It's on a peninsula, and they have one neighbor. His name is Bob, a nice old man. So me and my manager at the time, he told me that he wanted to go fishing. We couldn't really find anywhere in Baton Rouge, so we decided to load up, go to Mandeville, got all of our gear ready and ready to go. And we get there, everything's going good. You know, the fish are kind of biting a little bit. We caught probably like five or five or six or seven, somewhere around there at that time. And then just out of nowhere, my manager was changing his bait on one of his poles. And then his other one just like went straight into the water. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. And I'm assuming that a fish just came up and grabbed his pole because his bait was hanging over the water and just pushed it in. I, I don't really know what happened. So we had to go back. I had to grab another pole because it, it was one of the ones I was letting him use. And so when we go back, everything's good. I'm like, all right, we're going to be fine now. We got that out the way. And the motor started running a little slow. So I thought, I thought it'd be fine. It's a solar powered battery. It's clear skies outside. And then just out of nowhere, the boat just dies and we're directly in the middle. We have no way of getting back to land. And so I'm kind of trying to like keep my cool because I have my grandparents screaming at me the whole time. Teddy and Diane, they're just letting me have it, getting, giving me an earful about, you're so stupid, you should have checked the battery and all this for you went. And so I came up with the idea of casting a line into one of these trees and I reeled us like all the way to the closest that I could get to shore. And I couldn't just like step on the shore. There was like brush and trees everywhere and like just stuff that like it was preventing me from getting there. So I had to take my shoes off, shirt, shorts, hop in the water, go around. And they have a trail around the lake that's about two miles long. So I had to run barefoot through the woods, go all the way back to the house, block out the yelling that I was hearing from my grandparents. I returned, I grabbed a paddle and then return triumphantly back to my friend Patrick, who was just waiting there, just stranded. And then we paddled back probably about close to a mile to get back to um, where we had to park the boat. Got it there, and then we figured that out, and we just had a nice dinner after that. We fried up the fish and had a much needed, stressful, stress-free meal. And that's my story. Thank you all for listening.